the wrong bitch. I'm gonna tell you now, I will break this mother neck. Man, you'd think that Pooh was only speaking the truth when she appeared in Trinidad to clear the air and friends that she had a relationship with Carly Red in the past. Now, Pooh got a lot of stories which seemed to rattle Carly so much that she saw solutions every time she saw Pooh's face. But who do you think was the real shit starter here, man? Everybody know Carly Red got a reputation. So you know y'all tripped me out last night acting like me and Kurt don't be getting the popper. Okay, shit, bro. Oh, okay. I'm about to say that. <laughs> you know, I me thinking I need to turn up a little bit more. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, um, what are we doing today, y'all? Uh? We're gonna go to my family's house. Oh, oh let's see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go get some curry goat. Go meet me doing her one-way walk. Look, you better walk it out, bitch. <laughs> Hell no. Look on their face. Not too long, and I just at least wanted to see if you guys could clear the air. But you need to confess that I never, ever, because you know I never did. Whatever would make you sleep good. Okay, we, what what, we, what do that? we want the truth. Okay, this is the thing. What is your issue like that? You see what I'm saying? Me and Boo never did nothing. So all of this, this whole discussion is about alleged. Sierra and Shooter had just started a relationship when Sierra began to learn things about her man. Now first, it was lovely Mimi who passed down rumors that she heard about Shooter's infidelity and a lot of things unfolded from there on. Now lovely Mimi had ulterior motives when she spilled the beans to Sierra. Sierra confronted Shooter who only just dropped some more lies. Right, your man. What? Why would you say some evil Girl, shit? she said that! Shot right in his face. No, bitch, that's a <laughs> I'm lying. I can't tell if she's really just trying to f my assistant and my husband. Nah, nope, no way in hell. For it to come out like that, I really didn't want to start no problem at Jocelyn's video shoot. Hey, um, I, I need to go, for real. What's going on? Hey, girl. My hey. personal assistant told me that she been sleeping with her man. I don't believe it. I think you on just some evil bull. Like, oh, uh, so you don't like yeah, like, really Look, Sierra, you I told me not really to focus. jump. I apologize. OK, what happened? I was trying to be nice to her. I was trying to help her. Lovely Mimi told me that you and Mariah had... Please it, it, answer it, it, me. It, it, it didn't go just like that. So you did? Explain myself. No, you ain't got to say to me. You can't explain nothing. Dog at the glam shop, put money in her pocket. And hell, she wanted to return the favor. All I can think of go. Is you gonna listen? Is you gonna listen while Mariah. I'm trying to talk? Oh, so you had sex with Shooter? What the f are you saying? I don't f you like that. That's what we do now? Yeah, we don't do That's next. what we do now? I don't f you like that. You better go over there and tell her you ain't been around with me whole time. You the one who started this. I just started. Tell her the truth. Tell her how much you gave me. Tell her everything. And I put all that motherfucking money in my savings account. Now guess what you gotta do? You gotta solve this because I need you. I got my own. And you was just another source. You known as a rat now, Ratatouille. You the rat. You ran your mouth. Now you mad. Yeah, I told lovely Mimi. Like what the? I do whatever the. After Carly Red told her friend Mimi about Jocelyn and K. Michelle's birthday, Mimi thought Carly was just being her same messy self till she was confronted with the truth. Now Stevie, despite claims that he loved Mimi as his one and only wife, had Jocelyn Hernandez as his side piece. Now when both women came to face each other, man, it did not go smoothly, and they had to watch Stevie scramble to give both of them attention at the same time. But it serves you right, man. Never keep your side piece in your hustle, brother. Like it's your birthday. We gonna fall. Girl, so we can dance off beat and get us a man. Chill, girl. You don't got to Wait, wait. Show me the motherfucking shoot with it. Can I touch? Yeah. Can I touch? Her man. Mimi, so Mimi told y'all that. Stevie J is her man. 
her manager. You gotta explain to me what you talking about. She said that's my man. I'm seeing it. That they were together or they were seeing each other or you just know that was the artist. I know they work together because he's her manager. And I didn't want to be around it. I immediately got out of harm's way. You look amazing. <laughs> What? Did you meet, you seen what you said, how to show you? No. I just felt that it was a problem. Cold red. I'm so worried about you right I'm now. Cold. I would never put you in that position. Never. Be smarter than that. I'm leaving. You asked me a question, yeah. have you seen them yeah. together? It's not gonna be violent. She saw y'all kissing. I didn't kiss her. Yep, left hand. I, I don't. Oh said. yeah, let's go. Hold on. Please, Stevie, let I'm me go. go. I'm out. Hold Come on. Hold on. Come on. Come Wait, boy, you gotta let me holler at you for a minute. Let's go. Mimi, get up. Come yo. on. Yo. I should have punched him in his face. I would have. I want to see her do better. Mimi. Like I know what. You following her, right? Go follow her. And he left. I'm done with this. Can't be dealing with this bitch and her emotions. Word, really. A word? Are you serious right now? Wait a minute, man. Hold on. Go on. All right, so Bianca called Drewski when he was in a meeting with Sky. Now, he claimed to have a solid interpersonal relationship with Sky, but things went out of hand when Bianca called came in. Yeah, but it didn't end there, man. Sky got pissed at Drewski for leaving Bianca on, and she made plans to meet Mariah Lynn. Now, Mariah Lynn, on the other hand, had different plans of her own. Besides being my girlfriend, Sky and I are actually business partners. On the music front, further than just my career. Sky is a fitness enthusiast. With her expertise for the DJ setup. Yeah, like I wanted you on a stage. I actually lost 60 healthy eating. And I want to teach people how to do the same thing. 50 people is a lot of people. Who's that? Huh? Who's that? Bianca. Okay. You don't want to finish talking? You can answer. But now, she hitting me in front of my girl. Put it on speaker. And the record is called Miss You. Like, the hook is like, section, I miss you. <laughs> you inspired me. What are you talking about? You can't miss my man or want to kiss my man. Bianca's disrespecting me, and Juski's putting up with it. I need to get with you because I need you on a spin. My girlfriend. The, um, that's heavy. the other night you called her your assistant. I gotta go. I'm gonna I hit you. Hi, Andrew. Why are you, tri why are you tripping? Like, why? Really? We argue, why is she taking energy out of us? That's the artist you've had a past with. It all comes down to relationships. So let me handle the music, and she can handle all the strip and fitness stuff she wants. Wow, OK. Yes, because now you owe Dan. I don't feel Juicy thinks he could disrespect me by flirting with Bianca right in my face. Not doing that. I think I should have a say on who gets on it. Been all the drama last year with the Creep Squad, and getting my mother back on her feet. So I'm proud to announce that I'm a free agent. I'm officially calling my own shot. She seems like she's a down ass bitch. Like a cool new addition to the squad. Just trying to take it to the next level for me, for the well, future. Good. Happy to hear that. You know I lost like 60 pounds. Congratulations, and I wanna, Thank you, and I wanna help people do this. Me and Drew are not really like vibing right now. The other day we were scouting a location. We get there and you. I wanna <laughs> My God, that's the next step, right. I guess. But get this, you gotta attract. Exposing these other hoes trying to take another woman's man, especially for artists like me. And I'm not trying to mess that up. 32. Right. I just gotta put it in his face a little bit more than usual. Well, because you know how. I keep that bag best on best me, girl. Partner. And them bars. Mimi moved into a new apartment, and to celebrate, she called her friends to come party with her. Now, it's a small gathering of friends, including Kay, Michelle, and Rashida, who already had beef. Man, you ought to see for yourself how it all went down. Don't forget, I'm so excited. I'm celebrating my independence. I invited the girls over to have drinks. I just got the f up out of there, excuse my language and I just had to get my own space. All I know is we need to be able to co-parent. That's, That's all I'm concerned about, anything. Rashida, you okay? Well, why wouldn't I be? I'm, I'm here. Say hi to each other. I seen the Georgia prune Rashida, and I'm not too thrilled or happy about it, but it's Mimi's day, and girl. I ain't trying to be a grown-ass woman arguing with no next grown-ass woman. Instagram essays. Instagram essays? 
who takes out time to type a full the same answer person who? for trespass? Obviously, you were living in my house under my bed when I was going no, through my relationship. No, obviously, your ass gonna hit the floor of that fake oh. when that motherfucker oh. drop and your ass in the hospital. Yeah, I be ready to hit a bitch. For real. Pull that ragged ass wig off your mother. Woo! Right in here. What? Wait, so, no, 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 you gonna no, hit no, me no, with no. a mother? You gonna throw a candle at me, bitch? No, 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 now this all white day party, according to Jessica Dime, started really smoothly. Although they had their own issues, Kirk and Rashida were brought together in Jamaica to settle their differences. Now Jock was present, so was Carly Red, who did not like that Jock brought a date with him for the trip. Okay. For the first time in forever, I have a real boyfriend. Let me feel in some type of way, but we better turn up at this all white day party. Let's turn it up. Kirk saying he's gonna take the DNA test is a good thing. Get in the way. Guys, I'm planning a boat party. Crash. Like semi trucks, collisions. Yeah. Oh, no. I was already ready to jump on Walker ass, too. Now, Jock, I don't know what, what the hell are you doing here. I came to support my dogs. I believe in love. You know what I'm saying? I am future, man. Hats off to y'all, you know what I mean? I'm still happy that you came, too. I appreciate that. I really am. I, I need I some mean, support. Bitch. No, I love what? you. You know I got your back. You, you want to jump when we gonna jump. I'm trying. Luckily, he ain't at the bottom of the ocean. Right. So that's in the past. But at the end of the day, like I, I met up with Kiana, girlfriend or whatever she was. What baby mama? Well, I mean, Kiana was just like Kirk made her feel like he was gonna take care of her. He was gonna do it all up in the mix with this situation with Kirk. But on some real, I believe it was some bull. I don't even know why Treasure with my personal business, bitch. You don't know me. I don't give a f what the streets is talking about. Y'all women, it's about women and power. It's about understanding. Uh, we all women, we all women. women. Oh. Way. What do you mean? When I'm a f exit, because I don't. No, nah, you ain't going no f I don't you know bitches who. No. I know this home wrecking nobody. Did come up in our circle. We gonna let it slide. I gotta commend my girl Dime for that one. Now y'all know I don't condone no violence. Jessica Dime, good looking. I f with the team. You're not on our level. We didn't even invite you. You can't talk to this. Apologize. I put that on the radio. How I beat your ass. She was talking way too much. I done rehired her. That was nice enough to even bring her ass to Jamaica. Now she getting all of my partner them personal business. She clearly didn't learn a lesson. We're running in my box. They don't know about. Hey, I ain't I, I never for the mess. But that will come. I just said what the f I had to say. Go home. What you mean? Jump in the ocean. That's what I did, bitch. I never heard of you. Whatever. And I oh, you understand. Hold up. And Jock, what you doing? You better pick a side and see me. <laughs> I was gathering up phones and purses and, and trying. What point was you trying to prove? Thank you. This, I'm going to get some butter for my lobster. That's hey, crazy. Hey, That's what we came hey, here hey. for. Mimi and Nico took their bedroom fantasies a notch higher. Now, Nico suggested that they tape their intimacies, but later revealed to Mimi that he lost the videotape. Now, Mimi was devastated, but Nico said that they should only focus on turning it into an advantage. But that was not the last time that Mimi was going to be caught up in one of Nico's lies. <laughs> Nico surprised he wants to spend his time with me, and I'm not sitting at home wondering where he is. With you, these past four years, when I got back with Stevie, I've never felt. So you said you had to tell me something. What is it? I'm anxious. Well, what I'm about to tell you is, this just got stolen. What I didn't tell you is that my camera was in that. We done on that camera has been exposed. What does this mean? We exposed. It's me to take her. How come you didn't tell me the camera was in your bag a month ago? Only thing we can do now is capitalize on the situation if it's out there. Now, after they shown the world that they were a couple and not just business partners, Mimi and Nico faced another stumbling block in their relationship. 
Now it turns out that Nico had been keeping his secret with Mimi for so long because Nico was still a married man. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm pretty sure that brother gonna get castrated by Mimi. Or at the very least, man, she gonna get a knife and split the tip, you know what I'm saying? We just like chopping up a little baby carrot. How was your day? It from everything that's been going on, so I really, really, I've been getting hit up left and right about something on media takeout about you being married. Validity, anything. Question? Yes, there is. What's up, man? I've been. That I can't even cuss you like I want to. Being honest with you, that's the love <laughs> I got. I went hard for this man, even when everyone was attacking him. I think at the time that you decided to be in a relationship with me, that that is something. She was never asked until now. You did at some point intend on getting a divorce. Absolutely. Still married, but he can't even tell me when he's planning on getting a divorce. And decided to do hasn't affected us. I've been with you. I haven't been with her. I don't get it. Like, you want me to just, I don't know what So you leaving? Yes, I am. Just help me right now. I'm with I, you. I, it's me, you, and, the power and, and your wife. Stop right now. Can we do dinner? Later. <laughs> The night starts excellent, with Princess and Ray J complimenting each other. How you feeling? I'm a little surprised. But you know what? Even through everything that's been going on, you've been riding for me. A toast to that. But at the end of the day, we love each other, we forgive each other. But it's not over the next day. They get into an argument about Princess's choice of friends. I'm like, how the f does Morgan know all this about me and my girlfriend? That is random that she got you recorded on. I consider Morgan as family. F that. The argument soon becomes about Ray J's female friends, and the night is no longer going great. When I was talking to Tierra, I didn't even want to say she was right. Floyd was right. When he said all do things, run off into the sunset where his thinking. From compliments to a breakup, Princess did not see that one coming. Maybe it's just time for me and you to just separate. Here's how she react to Ray J's suggestion. Stop. 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 Here, bitch. You know what? Did he just do that? Stop. 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 I'm gonna f up right now. No. Get off me. Carly invites Spice to a double date with herself and Sean. She's a real friend, and she understands that sometimes you gotta call friends out. Hey, girl. Sean invited me out, and I told Spice to come and bring a date, too. The first glitch of the evening happens when Spice's plus one turns out to be Tobias, Tokyo's man. You good? Why you look like that? I know Tobias. Like, I've been knowing Tobias for years. Tokyo and Tobias were seeing each other when I last saw Tobias. You know this? I already talked to you about it. You really broke up with Tokyo. I'm playing the field. I'm trying to no, figure it out. It. Right now, we broke up. That's my ex. When Carly gets generous with information, Sean tries to get her to stop. Your friend was cheating on Sierra. Girls came to the table. I brought the girls. You brought the girls. She needs to act right and keep her nose out of other people's business. Oh, excuse me. You gotta stay out of these people's business, man. I don't wanna really be in these people's business. Hold on, hold on. Carly does not like being told what to do. Who does? This is gonna turn into another situation. That ain't cool, man. So well, let's have a conversation about everything. Where is this going? An argument ensues, and the date ends before it begins. You always turn up, man. She turn up everywhere. That's why I turn up. Right here, I ain't with, man. Like I ain't with this. Up. Damn, no, Carly, I trying to have so much relationship. Not here for the drunk. But she still just stays messy. I'm not finna let her bring me down to her. You let him walk out like that? Carly is unbelievable. Man, lecturing me on how I must behave. Oh, yeah, I'm a burn these bitches. I don't give me my shoes. Safari and Erica's drama continues in this love and hip hop episode. Safari walked in. Seeing him is always a reminder of like, damn, I got a lot of healing to do. Safari comes to see Erica at the restaurant and her friends excuse them. Let's go guys. This is our exit. The night unexpectedly turns into a date night for Erica. First and foremost, more than anything, I would um, like to sincerely apologize. 
Erica is shocked by his sudden appearance, and even more so by the reason he states for showing up. I want to apologize for how I treated you during your pregnancy. Why is this out of nowhere? I just want to be better. just want to be better for myself. That isn't the most promising reunion, but we wish them the best. I can't act like, okay, I apologize. Right now, I'm ready for that intense work that has to be put into our marriage. One thing, together or not, that's going to be so important. There are some situations you would love to be prepared for, and this date is one of them for Yandy. You say, I want to go out to eat, come meet me, and Listen, I come meet we you. All in, and then we all in good space, right? You feel some type of way? I feel like you should have told me. I told you, Dad. Like, come on. This is a straight violation. Hey, Mendeezy. Hi. What's up, what's How y'all doing? Up? I wanted to know what I was going to say. I did not want to have this dinner right now. When Mendeezy's tells Yandy whom they have a date with, she isn't too pleased about it. Yeah. Oh, go. my baby uh, learning. Yeah. Why are you sitting over here? Go sit over there. Listen. I brought you here, right, because I wanted to, you know, DC mom, her boyfriend. And then you spring it on me? The date starts on the wrong foot, and the tension in the room is tangible. You know, I don't know, and the families are all, I feel like, back together. When you were the problem. Starting off wrong. Little Mendeecees isn't feeling the night. My thought process is just bringing me back to when I was younger and I'm not feeling too well. And I got up and left. It doesn't seem like reconciliation is possible tonight, as Yandy and Samantha start to trade blame. The situation was a problem. You know, you had your, your cousin. That was extreme. That was very disrespectful. It, when it did go left, it was a shock to me. There's nothing that you can say to me that's going to correct it. It was five years ago. I think the respect can start today. So you just want to act like everything, right, nothing never happened? Act like that listen, is what we're listen, doing. Mendeecee stays positive and believes the night is a success. I think this dinner was a roller coaster, right? And we're talking. For me, this is progress. Yandy has a different opinion, and the night ends in an argument between her and Mendeecees. I mean, it was about bringing the family together. No, you don't do nothing like that in front of me. You what I'm walking into. Don't ever blindside me like I mean, that. I mean, we was talking about it. The whole time, she's telling me, oh, but you did, and you was the problem. Guess what? I should have heard a thank you from you, and I should have heard a thank you from her. I know what you do. He knows what you do. You, you got to think you better. About it ain't about what I'm about. Yeah. No. A date night with friends goes south when Gail reveals one of Marlon's secrets to Florence. Gail said that yeah, I was having an affair. She's drunk or <laughs> been dead, obviously. Marlon, I know you Marlon denies Gail's claim, but she's got proof. You said that it wasn't she's the time. She's embarrassing you in front of right everybody now, for nothing. Not. Go ahead, speak. Gail. Speak. speak. Me and Marlon. You got a problem, Gail. Marlon, don't Gail. lie. What's the proof? Don't act funny, Marlon. The... You know I got cameras, right? Where's the video? This is Put your husband. Oh, this is him. That's you, Marlon. That's no. not me. That's okay. you. Florence is upset that he keeps insisting he is innocent, even though there is evidence to show otherwise. Yeah. You went to her this restaurant. Is Marlon is a liar and he's gonna tell me that it's not him gal is saying it's true things get intense with florence physically going for marlon the restaurant yes that's her uh, restaurant yes marlon i'm waiting for yeah. and i defended you marlon rashida thinks kirk planned a romantic dinner for the two of them but he has other plans i'm just happy to have a night alone with my husband so you know gotta keep the romance alive gotta keep that thing on fire big old table on this just us we could have been posted up in the corner and low Kirk's surprise better be good. Because I have a surprise for you later. But hopefully Kirk's surprise will make it all worthwhile. That isn't the surprise Rashida was expecting, and she isn't happy now. Thinking, is this my surprise? I gotta see here. This is not what I was expecting for a date night, baby. Epic fail. She isn't the only person in the group who doesn't want to be there. She said what she said, I said what I said. Tony was supposed to be taking me out so we could spend some time together. I'm sitting here looking at Rashida. I'm feeling like my husband's priorities are all screwed up. Tony needs to learn to read the room and his wife. I was talking to her, I was thinking, you know, we haven't christened the baby. Dad, what are you talking about? Oh, no, you didn't do to me, but who the is? So I gotta buy you a Y'all is killing me right now. <laughs> The ladies are not interested in the reconciliation, and it seems the men are wasting their time. Because you know, I, I, I mean, clearly, I water, smell good as fresh money. Now, I'm not selling not my do. soul for the bull. They clean. buy your lipstick, but they don't buy your They music. buy everything I have. <laughs> and for like 12 <laughs> years, bitch. Real cooking, and, and go somewhere and do the reason why.
Things get physical between Rashida and Kalina. The husbands didn't think their plan through. Then the other girl. I ain't never been the other girl, bitch. What you talking about? I ain't never been Lynch a bitch. After several years of disagreements and attempted reconciliations, Scrappy and Mama D are trying to sort out their differences once again. We hope they work it out this time. Hey, Mama D. Hi. You look beautiful. My child. A safe space to talk one-on-one. -on -one. When asked how they feel about seeing each other after several months, here is what they have to say. The reconciliation is looking good. Hey, Mom. Hey, son. I love you. I miss you. I love you, too. I want to tell my son how much I love him. Things are pretty emotional as the mother and son express their feelings. He's so handsome. Would you like to hug your mom? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Mama. Mama D talks about Scrappy's birth and admits her faults. I was pregnant with him and it came down to labor and delivery and they brought him to me. Never let nobody hurt you. And unfortunately, I could not because of life. I kind of like felt like I failed him as a mom, hurt my son. Here is how Scrappy reacts to his mother's confession. I just want to tell my son that I f***ed up, but I honor my son to live like he wants to live. The reconciliation becomes tricky, and an argument is about to start. Will the newfound relationship fall apart? Well, you have to leave me to do that. Chill out on the social media or say anything about Bambi. Yeah, yeah if you can't say nothing. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, a fight doesn't happen, and the reconciliation is successful. One more hug? Can I get one more hug <laughs> for the road? <laughs> 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 so in this Love and Hip Hop episode, Trina finishes a shoot and is exhausted. I'm exhausted. Ray pops the question, which leaves Trina shocked. I just gotta ask you a question. What the wow! Did you spend the rest of your life with me? Trina gets emotional, which is understandable as that was so unexpected. Don't cry. <laughs> Wait, no. The shoot ends as an engagement celebration. Let's celebrate! Yeah. Ray is a romantic, and Trina is lucky to have him. Just want to be a, um, a representation of relentlessness. You want me to just hold the ring because it look like it's real heavy for your hand? <laughs> I got it, Ray Ray. I got it, Ray Ray. I did not expect for him to come out with this big bang. Love stories are always beautiful, and Suki Hana and Kill Bill are no exception. Always be my girl, and ain't nobody gonna come in and take that away from us. Kill Bill asks Sukihana the question, and she is shocked. His proposal is unique and quite charming. I love you and your kids, you feel me? Oh. I'm surprised. The engagement is a memorable moment because everyone is shocked to see him pose the question, especially as the relationship has been shaky for a while. Coming from the streets, he's not used to being an emotional human being. Sometimes men, they don't know how to express themselves, okay? He does not know how to express himself because sometimes hurt people hurt people. Thankfully, Suki says yes. I really do feel like you do love me. I love you because you are very, you're a really good person and helping me with my career. I really appreciate that. I, I love you, yes. <laughs> Their love sure is beautiful and we wish them the best. I'm taking him back because I love At him. At the end of the day, I feel like it's love that keeps pulling us back to each other. And I always know that he's going to be there for me. Let's go party. Sometimes, fights are more memorable than love affairs. Talking to you now, did you think about it the time that you was doing it? Florence goes to Marlon to confront him for cheating on her. Marlon finally admitted that he cheated. He didn't even think about how that might affect my career. So now I'm here to confront him. We need to talk. I wouldn't want to be Marlon. I had to f up my whole session at the studio. Well, I had to think about this whole f right? She seemed like we low, okay? They just to vécu, le guy at the Zusai wasn't the right time for that. Controlling yourself? Marlon, to his credit, doesn't try to deny it, but instead apologizes to her. I don't know what to tell you, baby. I'm sorry. That's the only thing I can say. Guess apologies can't fix everything. Florin does not seem so impressed by him or his attempt to mend things. I'm a that's what I'm about to do. Guess wrong timing is a greater sin than cheating. Florence seems more upset about the timing of Marlon's confession than his act. Why did you tell me that today? 
Why do you feel like it was the right moment? No, I never I... told you that before because you were going to have your grand opening. What can I do? It happened. I would never trust you again, Marlon. Marlon planned for something other than that outcome. Can he get Florence to change her mind? I think I'm going to be done with this. What are you going to be yeah. done with what? Done with this. This is like the last time. Oh, leave Florence. Yeah. Did line. you give a when you was doing that over there, Limulai. Marlon? You didn't give a did you? Florence won't forget the betrayal anytime soon. Did you think about it the time that you Please. was doing it? I'm so embarrassed right now. I trusted you, Marlon. I trusted you. Sugi's confession is perhaps more memorable than Kill Bill's proposal. I never wanted to get married to him. The lovebirds are having issues soon after their engagement. I'm trying to fix some things that I have probably have problems with, and we both probably have problems, but it's probably really easy. To get it fixed today. When the counselor tells Bill to talk about what he loves about Suki, this is what Suki says to his answer. Bill, what do you appreciate most? Gentleness. Gentleness. Oh, you just called me hoes in the car. You did what? Suki talks about their surprising home life. Are you going to the massage parlor? Oh, you can't go in there, Chief. I try not even ask the question about infidelity. Watching porn every day. Not his baby mama, not none of these bum ass hoes. No, so Listen, but we not finna lie, though. Ouch, that is hurtful. That only God can heal. He don't even we pray can't. over his food. I pray over my food. Let's remember that. I'm the one who had to teach you how to when you first came out of jail. There is nothing left to say after that, and the pastor wraps up the session. If y'all are ready for marriage. Hell no. I never wanted to get married to him. So how do we resolve this? Why are we going to pray? Please God, Father, I thank you for this session. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Carly Red agreed with this sentiment and isn't letting her unsatisfying relationship get her down. So today I have someone come in to visit after hours at the store. I would have told Tommy, but she said she doesn't want to hear any of my news. Is there a difference between seeing someone and being in a relationship? I was just like, okay putting two and two together. And we might need to put something together. I think that'd be a good idea. I'm working on this mixtape right now. That's, I'm a dog, and that's what I'm about to do. Are you a dog? It's not what I heard. In order to cheat, you have to be in a committed relationship. That's number one. What's your personal situation like right now? Maybe you got like a little, you know, <laughs> let's get these words together. I don't want to get nothing misunderstood. The discussion surprisingly moves away from the business to the bedroom. Let me interview you. What type of radio show is it? It's a radio show on Playboy, your bedroom business. I'm listening. How do you like it? Outside, cars. I exude sugar. I'm sweating. Why don't you take it off? Let me help you. What is more shocking is that Scrap is seeing Carly's business partner. I guess the fact that I'm getting ready to do a business deal with your man is something you'd rather not know. Carly isn't letting that stop her, however. What do you think would happen when Tommy finds out? He's cute, he's sexy, he's talented. So why not have some fun? <laughs> the love and hip-hop Hollywood reunion turns into a frenzy after Zell swag attacks Mr. Ray again. You too? A truce? Yeah. A truce. A truce. He needs to go. I'm not too much shit for me to be cordial with any body. That was one dodgy move. You know, I don't sneak nobody. That lame as yeah. Are you kidding me? You off here talking on the That move got Mr. Ray hurt badly. Bleeding from. Why am I bleeding? Hi, Alexis. This is, this is this is too weird. Next, he broke down in tears. I gotta sit down for a minute. Like bro, come here, bro. They sent me home early, guys. I'm so bad. But he's not a good friend. He's nobody's friend. That was. After that, he said he'll be pressing charges. I know you're a good dude. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You was willing to embrace it and be like, all right, call it truce, whatever. I'm gonna handle like a white woman. I'm pressing charges. Good luck for coming near me next season. With him being settled down, he was invited back to the stage. And, and I appreciate you coming back on the stage. And I'm genuinely sorry that that happened to you. I feel better now. Like, I didn't, I knew that he was not sincere. I mean, clearly you've seen all season, he's a flip-flopper, he's not loyal. I told that Alexis laughed at the attack. Oh, f 
her. Well, her whole uh, life is funny, so she should laugh a lot. I thought it was funny, but Why? I mean, it really escalated. Girl, you getting pregnant is funny. I was really back here. I'm in my own world. I'm it's okay. She can right. laugh at me for getting hit because I laughed at her when Moni snatched her wig off. A1 didn't take too kindly to Rockstar messing with his girl. You guys really look like you're thriving. You Seriously. can't come here and do no, this. No, not today, bro. You know what? A1 should have really told her what it was for you, though. And that's some real talk. My you can't we best friends. Me and Lyrica just separated. And now all of a sudden, this dude back in the picture? Because I don't with that. You know that we go way back, way back? Like five way years. Back. Rockstar took off his jacket, and it all went downhill from there. Take it off in case you get stupid. Look, check it out. I am stupid. What you trying to do? What's up? What, what you trying to do? What's up? What you trying to do? What you trying to do? Yo, Rock, that's not Hold cool, on. Rock. Lyrica, what is you talking about? That's still my husband. You need to relax. You just want to be me. You heard that I'm working with Apple. You like, can have hey. Apple. And Lyrica, you know Rock. what the hell it is. Come Rock. over here and the Grammys in the Plex, baby. We BFFs. Don't forget it. Trina blows hot on Nicki Natural. Up and coming artists, a voice and a chance. So how did it feel to get challenged by someone that you're just trying to help? The tour was about these three ladies that are really artists that work their ass off that I've heard do music that are out here in the street. Would not have been nowhere in my space. Be honest, you're beneath me, you will always be. Cause you said to me, trick vouch for you. Trick vouch for one only. That's the bad it will never be another. Love yourself and be disrespectful because I'm not, and to this day, I've been doing this for 20 years, you won't make it two years in this industry. Nobody knows your music. You're not an artist. It escalated when Nikki started responding. Oh, hey. Kids with braces, oh, what? I'm not the mother what? and I'm having babies. What? I'm turning the music off. Oh are you nuts? Are you dumb? Yeah. How are you a role model? Look at you. You look a mess. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> You're You look a mess. No. How are you a role You're model? Wrong. Although Nikki was escorted out of the venue, she still had a lot to say. Okay, you guys, let's bring it down. Let's get through this. You dirty ass You old me. Get the out of here. You're not an artist. I am from 15th Avenue. Don't play with me. Here's what Nikki had to say about it all. What, what you got to say, Nikki? I'm going to hold my own down. First of all, I never disrespected Trina. I never disrespected nobody on that stage. If you come for me, I'm going to pop off. That's what can't wait? Let me go find him. He's talking to me like this. Oh my gosh, she trying to open the damn door. In this episode, Stevie J and Benzina go at each other in what could be called an epic rumble. Don't do that with all these securities. Don't do that with all these securities. Just do that out there. No, we do it right now. Yeah. We can do it right now. Do it. Let's do it now. Let's do it. Come on, man. Come on. You Yo, get you the ladies joined in too. Get my car. I got you, baby. Get my car. Get the f off. Get him off. As security tried to contain the fight and escort the cast off the stage, Jocelyn and Stevie broke free. Production was halted so security could lock down the set. Jocelyn and Stevie were then exited out of the building. altercation and the situation spiraled out of control. We had to release our audience and secure the stage. Even the police were called. It's one thing to find out that you got someone pregnant. It's another thing to find out on live TV. I need to say something that is very, very, very important. Did I say this today? Everyone, anyone who watched the season knows that I like to pull things out of my bra and slam them on tables. Yeah, but there's something in my bra that I, um, gotta give to my husband. Okay. Unlike your baby's mother, I did not take the plan B. <laughs> I'm pregnant. Mimi shutting Stevie out of her house is never gonna not be funny, and this clip ranks as one of the most intense in the whole show of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. However, the best is yet to come. What's going on? Working. Working, looking like that? I'm overseeing. We got history. We we got a bond that, that really can't be broken. It's got me up. This is a lot of my doing because I have allowed this to continue. Has it not gotten worse? Since yeah, with the bitches only your ear. I don't want you to be I'm mad. I'm not mad, Stevie. You know what I'm saying? You look too cute mad. to be mad. I'm not mad. You You're want not, me you to don't spell want, it out? Yeah, say you don't want to be I with me. I don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore. I'm done. I'm standing 100 feet away from you. I, uh, and? I said, are you? I gave you the best thing you ever could have. You better be grateful. What is that? 
this you over here. You know what I'm saying? I better be grateful. Yeah. You just But I gave me. you a kid when everybody else just tossed you in the waist. Yeah. Can you please go? Please, I'm done. Have a good life, Ma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I will. Hazel Lee was angry about something, and she would not even let her op rest in the presence of Tierra. And as you might well know, Tierra, well, she might as well go throat to throat with Hazel, then sit down and let her former friend cause a scene because of their broken friendship. I'm like you. You have given her reason to disrespect you because you disrespected her by going back to her man and doing some fraud. You disrespected Nikki by getting in her face and doing some fraud. Sh Molly, you disrespect everybody. But got real. And it's like, hold on. Pause for a minute. With the wrong bitch, Miss Tierra Marie. I'm not the one, honey, that you don't understand. And that's what you really need to get together right now. No, it that's what you need to get together. I am the one's fault. You're not loyal to the end because you want to be I'm not going to be loyal to the end. This is starting to get fun. And I just need my popcorn because this is one hell of a show. Yeah. <laughs> Hear me roar. King Kong, King T in this bitch. Since when were you my premier bird in the alley or were you being friends with me? Girl, ain't nobody. Nobody. You the one who was being a dumbass hoe when you knew that wasn't yours in the first place. That hoe. I don't give a f about that. Bitch. Rest in peace, Tierra Marie. Rich and Erica had a whole film of history together where the man managed Erica Mina, but they eventually fell out. Now, while Rich seemed to have forgotten about what had happened between them, Erica still held grudges. So, could you say she acted naturally when she found Rich at her fiance's bachelorette? This is it, baby. We got a bachelor and a bachelorette party under one roof. And you know me, I'm always down for a rock hard time. I just came to show my respect to my brother getting married. This is the rock hard themed bachelor party. I got this going on. Wifey got the deep inside, she on the other side. I'm excited, I'm excited. Today is the day. But for whatever reason, my man, he thinks he's going to have a more turned up bachelor party than me. So I already won just off of being able to have a male and female stripper all at the same time. This is the last night to just live it up, but in a safe, brotherly, papoose kind of way. <laughs> in a black love. In a black love. Because it just lets me know that. Everything in the past is now water under the bridge. But I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this guy, he ready, he ready for the strip club to come to him. <laughs> wasn't there, but me and Rich, we had met up at the gym. He expressed his sincereness, like he apologized. I've done everything. They all That's so wild. That's so crazy. It's a huge slap in the face to me. We have to go look out for our girl. You ain't supposed to be here. You gotta hit the road. Man, get the hell out of here. Go back in y'all room. Like, mind your business and go back deep inside. I'll talk about that in the private. I don't need no group of people coming in. Oh, come on, no. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing. What was the purpose of that, though? Why they did that? Because they ain't here complaining about Rich being here. Farber, you got your work cut out for you, homie. Marriage is for the rest of your life. I'm out. Say love, brother. All right. I'm out. Don't be mad at me. Worry about your deep inside and let me handle our rock hard side, OK? This disrespecting me blatantly over and over and over again. It's not that serious. It is. In his Love and Hip Hop New York clip, the ladies were gathered at Jonathan's fragrance release. But y'all sure know that wherever the ladies are gathered, trouble's only one wrong word away from its hiding place. Talk about a fragrance party gone wrong after Christy chose to confront Yandy, who she claimed spoke a lot of trash about her relationship and fiancés. Jonathan is my baby. I love him so much. You are the two friends of mine who've been supporting him, who've been pushing him. This was a labor of love. Having my own product and knowing the support and strength of my friend means everything. Hi, girl. Hello, mommy. Y'all look cute. Hi. Congratulations. I'm happy you came. I came to support you. Okay. 
Jonathan is wishy washy with him. I gotta see where this goes. Chopper oh, stuff is always a big deal. You. you brought up the whole but I article. On, I, you said that you and your friends. Wait, did I bring it out? Did I bring it out? I asked. I asked about it. Yandy was not talking about Chrissy. Yandy was reading an article that she did not write. Somebody tell me what's 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 the what's the yelling about? All right, listen. Whatever is going on, okay? My heart went out. You're lying. You're you are a liar. You keep shit. it I'm all really the way funky. Please. I know your personality, and I know your personality. I wouldn't you know take me? a jab at you. That's the it's problem. Okay. That's why so you tell f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f f and then it said, in 2010, that's when the bills would stop being <laughs> Do you think you made Jimmy or Jimmy made what I'm, I'm not sitting here saying, I wish that for her. Congratulations. I'm not that. I'm not a hater. I never met. And I'm not blaming you for that. I'm blaming you for that. Oh, 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 yeah. That situation. Wanna, Sandy, you don't want no smoke. Stop, stop, stop talking to me like that. It's not for stop you. Stop talking to me like that. Chris, you got I'm sick of you and listening to you and you Fans of love and hip hop know who Shay is and what she stands for. To firmly root yourself in such audacious positioning is really difficult and that's why she earns her flowers as one of the best on the show. Now in this clip, Shay described how her relationship with Scrappy was at the time and she decided to call it quits. Scrappy thinks he can come in and out of my life, use and abuse me and treat me like garbage. Are you serious? I have to talk to you a little bit because sometimes I get confused. Unfortunately, you're done, but, you know. You're done? Yeah, because, I mean, me and her got a, a little bond, you feel me? So I just feel like it's... Uh -huh. But it led into more than just a friendship, and you and I both know that, and that's what I don't like. We wasn't sexing as no friends. We was just six days before you proposed, homeboy. No. Nope. Yeah, do the math. No, do the Do the math, yes. Yeah. Man, I'm thinking we cool, folk, folk, you feel me? But Shay is just crazy. I done said sorry a hundred billion times. Ring around the rosy, you did. Other than that, whatever I did, that's so wrong to you. I told you, and I told you, but I told you, I was, I told you, I was sorry. You told me when you got on your knee and said, can you marry me, bitch? It was good, because you ain't even with her. I mean, nobody knows the future. Well, then go back to the bitch. Deuces, I don't give a it's so crazy how Scrappy played a dumb role. Like, he can't see how he hurt me. Can't forgive him for that. I don't know how I'm gonna get over it, but I can't forgive him for that. You piece of shit. That's what you are. Get out. Peace you definitely out. want to get out. on the end of that. How you get your house? You have a wonderful life. God bless you. You have bless a wonderful, you. Life. You have a wonderful life. life. You have a wonderful life. You have a wonderful life. In a family reunion in season two of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, Safari and Cisco met to amicably settle their differences, which they failed to achieve. Rather, both men went into full combat mode in no time flat. I pulled Safari to the side again because I heard he felt like I was checking him. So I wanted to give him an opportunity to express himself. First one is, I don't understand what that was the other night. Came to talk to you as a friend. You took the opportunity to take my f***ing friendship. We whack or some f like that and he shouldn't f*** with us. So I'm a little confused. Yo, I'm about to slap the f*** out of you. Why the f*** you f***ing crazy? Oh, crazy? Stop playing with me. Yo, Sack, you Yo, tough since when? I'm in my room trying to get ready for the next event, and I hear screaming and yelling. I want to see who's going to get the ass kicked. Please, please. Come on, get served. Don't try me, He definitely ain't built for this type of action. Brother, I promise you, you don't want to smoke. I will fold you. Yeah, it was a special night for Benzino and Carly Red, who instantly fell for each other when they first met. The relationship only lasted about a few months before Benzino, you know, thought to switch it up and bring marriage into the discussion. But when he noticed Carly's countenance at the dinner, he put back the engagement ring back into his pocket. Carly was not particularly happy about that. This is the woman that I want to be with. This is the woman that I feel for. Like you're going to open your emotions and your feelings up. You're going to take your guards down. You know, I know like my temper probably flares up because of that. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. I wonder did that. I've had this for a while now. I mean, if you doubt that I love you, I'm trying to say that, does this show any doubt? I'm not ready. So right then and there showed me. And I just looked in her eyes and I just, 
I couldn't do it. Be any more hard Why on me as it is. Why would you come and bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? You feel me? Me getting what you been, Zeno? Carly said she had her doubts, but in the end, Zeno had his too. Yeah, this might be the first clip to let you know that Jocelyn Hernandez is capable of being calm and collected. And in this clip, she was invited by Erica Dixon. And this is how it went down as things quickly took a different turn. Let's go back. Me, Stevie J, like where did that come from? I was like, okay, well, I had the wrong person. And I apologize for that because Junior never Scrappy was acting like he wanted to fight. Like, for what? But that's Scrappy. You ain't tired of not to like me. But... When you guys was talking back and forth and you got kind of loud and I had a rough life growing up with people. So it's like when anybody do this to me, I'm thinking like, wait a minute, what's going on? Did I, did I even do that to How you? How you gonna tell me what to do? I do what I wanna do, my hands still moving. I'm a grown woman, I don't have time for this. Do you have anything else to say, honey? Mm -mm, I sure don't. Okay, well. Maybe Erica don't like me even though I apologize to her because maybe she's just jealous of me. All right, so Misaka was the face of a billboard and at the party that they threw an honor with that, Everyone was present, including Hazel, who decided to confront Tiara. All right, so the issue bothering her was that she had just lost her friend Young Berg to one of her other friends, Tiara. Now, was Tiara indeed working with Young Berg? Was it all together? Were they in on it from the beginning? The face of Ace. I came here to support the owner of Ace of Diamonds who's unveiling the billboard of his new club in Vegas. But the face, or rather the naked, flat ass I'm looking at, belongs to that hoe, Masika. Bitch, is that Masika? I'm gonna let her face grace the entry of my family's property, then she must not know me at all. Clap, clap, clap. I ain't even seen Tierra since I moved out the apartment, and the fact that she's kicking it with Masika now? So I'm gazing through the crowd, and whose face do I see other than that plastic cabbage patch Nicki Minono looking bitch? Hazel standing over there in all of her fraudness. And to be honest, I don't have two words to say to her. Hello. So you guys had a little trick up your sleeve. When I walked in your photo shoot, you were doing it for my club? But that's my club. If they were here, they'll be the boss. Oh, well, I'm isn't the boss. it Miss Boomerang? I just threw her out and she came back. First of all, pause. It's some crazy bird out here calling you his boo. And I'm like, damn. I never thought we would like go behind each other on no Well, phone. first of all, I'm not Burke's boo. Oh, so no, like, I was like, TT. Or so she could be doing it, but I hope she would. Actually, like, why, did you, why did you see your Why did you see your way back see in the club after I told you to see what me and had anything to do with you. Hold up, wait a minute. You're a bum bitch. You f everything in these streets. You're a sex addict. You're known to f everybody's man. Wait. You're a drunk bitch. You need to rehab. And really? That's just the story. She's life. making half the <laughs> up. Which half? I get that. But for this mother bitch to run to Masika and Kiki about my nose, that's crossing the line. Bitch, you must have lost your complete mind. You're making yourself look like a fool. I'm not f***ing bird. Oh, do you know rule number but one? But if you believe you was that the girl, you would have told me when you was Actually, coming Actually, rule that. Oh, don't talk about a call right now, because if you want to take it back one. to me moving the out the house, then you're taking it back to say. The oh, problem okay. is okay. bird. You're and, mad about it. She don't want, I don't and, want, okay, and don't so want you. you. Shut the who said you didn't f*** with this bitch? Me up. And Bird dropping me out too, so why don't you understand that? Straight up, T. Why did what you do it? What the f*** more do you want to hear? Why did you do it? Because I like the record. I don't need none of y'all hoes in my life. I'm out. To who? I didn't even get to say everything I wanted to say to that hoe Masika, but I think Hazel was everything she could handle for one night. Raggedy ass in this mother all right, fans of the show gonna know that Scraps is considered a character who ain't honest at all, and he was caught between Tommy and Carly Red in this clip. Now, Tommy pulled out receipts to knock Scrap out, but did her plan work out the way she wanted it to? What's wrong? Nothing's wrong, honey. Come here. Listen, don't. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Why are you grabbing me? Like, what, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? What time you got an attitude? It say Carly. It say Carly motherfucking Lewis was at the hotel for three motherfucking days, what? room service, okay, okay, and okay. a motherfucking movie. Relax. Every time you come here with some bullshit, what does it got to do with me? How the fuck is her receipt, her hotel receipt for three days? Do I question you all who's in your car? Listen. 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 Tommy's always on the emotional roller coaster. I done had enough of her crazy to last me a lifetime. I'm not. No, that's what you want to know? You got your answer. God would like for us to be more open because I do have business ventures. I'm going to kick like my legs up and let them please me with the that make me And you brat me. Yeah. You want to play me with mother Cardi, mother red, an old ass hoe with worms? This is the real world. 
it's time for you to go, bro. Now you're kidding you're me out. Go. It's time for you. It's been time for you to leave. <laughs> All my partners around me that you just said, I have it for you, okay? I sent it to you in a text message. Wanna... All right? <laughs> now you want to be the victim. <laughs> I am the victim. Yeah. You're pathetic. That's what you are. 